How to Wiz IQ Basic Training Lesson 223 File and Edit Buttons Way up here in the corner we have a File and Edit button. Let's click on the edit. First let's look at, let's right click. What do we get there? Nothing. Okay. Let's click on the Edit button Undo and Redo. We just looked at those so there is a shortcut or you can use this drop down menu. Um, when we'll look at we have the copy and paste features just like almost any other wi um, um, computer interface uh, you can use shortcuts or you can use this drop down menu that will become more important as we use the select tool and other things later and we have a select all which we'll also look at elsewhere but for now let's just say select all and see what happens boom it grabbed everything on our screen Okay, now, notice that we can also drag across items and affect the same thing. Um, so there is some functionality with the edit. Uh, just a quickie for you. If I turn one of these, all of them should turn. Isn't that cool? If I resize one of them, all of them, because they've all been selected. This does not work perfectly, but those of you that are graphically inclined, this is a nice gadget. Anything else under edit? No. Um, you'll find that these functions are effectively replicated or repeated elsewhere. Now under the file drop-down we can create a new tab. Remember I clicked here to create a new tab? We can also do it here. Close a tab. I can use the red square to close a tab. Take a snapshot. This takes a snapshot and stores it um, on your desktop normally. Okay? And see it asks you where to save it. The thing that it does not do, if you create a poll, let's just grab one, publish it, and let's say we had a poll, and now if you click on take a snapshot, unfortunately it does not capture that. So you need another, um, and it asks you if you want to use the same one, but yes, that's okay. So if we take a look at that real quickly, well, it's not going to happen real quickly, is it? All right. <laughs> You'll see that the poll does not show up in your um, screen capture. You want to use another uh, computer program if you need that functionality. All right. Um, upload from desktop. We saw that we have a button, and we also have a drop-down menu, and end class. <laughs> Definitely a dangerous button. So that's all we need to look at here with our file buttons. It's it's simply a, an additional way to grab something, particularly if things aren't behaving well. Sometimes, every once in a while, the, your, your commands and your um, functionality of your classroom has a problem. I usually recommend that you leave the classroom and come back in. In other words, close your browser and reopen it. I believe it's on a, a Windows computer. If you use the function and the F5 key, that does it automatically for you. All right, so that's it for those buttons. Now we're getting on the home stretch. These buttons over here on the side. See you next next lesson. Bye bye.